Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Please if you have just joined, you quickly share. I have only about 10 minutes to be here. I want to tell you something. Join and share quickly. I'm not going to waste your time, I promise. I'm, I'm there is something I want to tell you urgently. If you have joined, you share. Good morning. Please, let's talk in the comment section. Tell me where you are watching from. How are you? Where are you watching me from? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Come quickly. Come quickly. I don't want to waste your time. It's just, I think, 10 minutes. We are done. If you have just joined, you share. Remember, please be... Remember, please be reminded that uh, CA1 can never send a message to you. You can see that CA1, everyone is talking about CA1. So scammers are taking advantage of uh, this CA1. There are people, last week, my name was the most talked name on Facebook. So, uh, people are taking advantage, scammers are taking advantage of that to scam people. They claim to be CA1. Please, things that you must know about CA1. Number one, CA1 can never send a message to you. I can never send a message to you. I can never prophesy to you on Facebook. I can never send you a message on Facebook. I can never give you prophecy on Facebook. No, I can't. Please quickly share the broadcast quickly. I'm not going to waste your time. I promise you 10 minutes. <coughs> CR1 cannot do all those things. CR1, long time. God bless you. El 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 Elios Patrakos son. God bless you. Even HH says, come on now. We are coming, we are coming to that. Look, many of you waited for me last Sunday. You couldn't hear from me. Am I clear? Am I clear? Tell me if I'm clear. Tell me if I'm clear. Many of you waited for me last Sunday. You wanted me to speak last Sunday and I couldn't speak. Someone say, help us with JJ. I spoke to JJ a long time ago. <laughs> I spoke to JJ before JJ was uh, all this thing happened to him. I, I I spoke to him, you know. But problem with politicians is that they think they have arrived. You know, they always think that oh we have arrived. So uh, if he if he listened to me, he wasn't going to be in this mess by now. So I will leave it there. I have something important that I want to tell you, but share the broadcast quickly. I know this is not the time that I usually come live, but something is very, very important. So the reason why I didn't come live last Sunday is because of uh, two things. Number one, politics, we must understand politics. There is no one that go to politics to serve the people. Please, let's be clear about this. When, you, when we are clear about this, then we are not going to make mistakes. No one goes to politics to serve anybody. People go to, serve, people go to politics because they want to benefit. In politics, there is a lot of money. In politics, there is a lot of power. In politics, there is a lot of connection. That's why people fight. There is no way on earth somebody can go to jail because he wants to go to serve the people. No. No what if if uh, politics was about service, people wouldn't be killing each other to take to go into politics to take over power if politics was about saving the people no one will spend billions to, to go and do politics to go and serve the people no it's about investment when you invest 
you eat when you fight you eat like for example few years ago it was the people in pf that were eating so people from upnd we are fighting we are fighting that okay if we remove these people we eat everybody eat the national cake that's how it's supposed to be it's called the national cake when you go the people you fight with you eat the national cake when your time expire other people will come and eat the national cake that is how it is that is all about politics so no one must deceive you to say hey, we are going we are serving the people no one will serve the people now this is what happened last Sunday. i couldn't come live i didn't uh, i didn't do life the, the life that I did last time, I did it to test the microphone. See, I'm not a coward. I am the dawn of power. We are not two on earth. We are, we are, you can't find me two on earth. I am one, see you one, the dawn of power. I'm not a coward. When you see I don't go live, or when you see that uh, I'm, I'm supposed to talk I didn't talk you must know that something happened no one the reason why I went live last Sunday the other Sunday was number one UPND said we have silenced C1 remember that I am a cancer I am incurable you know what cancer is you can it's incurable political cancer you can i can't be stopped no one is going to stop me no government on earth can stop me i am the dawn of power i'm not two once i tell you that this is how it's going to be if you want gather the whole angels in heaven to back you up what i say is what will happen so the reason why i came i came to this microphone I just came to do like this, to see if, <laughs> to show you people that I'm alive. Because people are saying, ah, see, one has been silenced, see, one has been silenced. Remember when I was fighting PF? Sometimes I will go quiet. <laughs> and if you want, there is one idiot prophet, one hungry man, Ian, Ian, prophet Ian, that hungry idiot in Zambia there. He used to say, I have silenced C1. I've sent angels to silence him. When he talk again, I will kill him. No, that is politics. It's a, calculate, it's a calculated move. I don't just come like, yeah, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Before I come, I've calculated it. We have calculated it. And I'm sent to go and speak. Now, then we are saying, see, ah, one has been silent. See, one has been silent. I came, I just tested the microphone. Boom, boom, boom one broadcast the entire entire week it was see one everywhere you go in the bus station see a one everywhere you go on facebook see a one everywhere you go on 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 tiktok it was see a one everywhere you go on whatsapp group it was see a one I just prove to you people that I cannot be silenced. I am the dawn of power. I control. No one else can control. I do an active politics. I don't do a reactive politics. Even today, this night, if I decide again to tumble the nation, I will do it. I just did that to prove to people that, look, no one can silence me. Somebody can just wake up and like, see a one, see a one, see a one, why, see a one, one. You finish barking like a dog. I still do what I want. <laughs> I control the first person, the microphone. Eleven thousand people turned in to watch. Within two days, we are having half a million people that watch the video. The, the last broadcast. The other Sunday, testing the microphone. But politics has not started. I didn't say anything about a church. Those of you that followed me, those of you that watched the broadcast, I didn't say anything about a church. I didn't talk about anything about him. I didn't talk anything personal about him. What I came to tell the people is what they know already. It was a uh, what is the name of that uh, criminal, uh, that lady. Uh, Sifa Masebo, 
It was even my supper. And then I spoke about uh, Stanley Kakubu. All this we are in public domain. But with, with that public information, over 14,000 people turned into watch. If you say CR1 does not have influence, who, who in Zambian politics has such powers? Who has such influence? I just did one broadcast, one. It's not two. Just one. It's not two. Kosue has posted me more than 50 times. <laughs> one broadcast, so I've not started. I haven't exposed HH. I haven't even talked about anything. I just kept, I just kept it somewhere. <laughs> uh, EPP President Chilifia Tyler. How are you, my brother? I hope that you are doing very, very well. So, you know, I just kept it as I, I haven't spoken that. I cannot finish a church if the opposition do not agree with what we have presented to them. That you must know. I, there is no negotiation about that. We are not going to negotiate, bring down, do this, do that. No, I've, we have already, I've already told them, if you want me to fight a church, which I will do, I mean, a person that can sit one place, commanding over 14,000 people watching him talking in a nation who has such powers, who can do that? No one can do that. And as we speak today, just on my page, that video has gone to almost 700,000 people that viewed it. 700,000 people that viewed it. Who else can, who can, who else has such powers? Who else has such influence? As a foreigner, see, I want, you are not a Zambian. I mean, I don't care. I'm an African. I can talk anywhere that I want to talk from. I can say anything that I want to say. I foreigner. 14,000 people tuning, watching him speaking about the current affair. It has never happened. Who in Zambia, can, even when the president of Zambia decides to address Nigeria, more than, he won't even have up to 50 people watching him. So you must understand that this thing is something that you must live with. CR1 already has that influence and power in Zambia, and no one can change it. You cannot go live politically and draw crowd until you mention CR1. Unless talk anything you want to talk, but once you speak about CR1, you will get attention. Everybody wants to hear about CR1. Everybody wants to talk about CR1. Everybody want to mention CR1. That's why last week, everywhere you go, it was CR1. The, the Shipolopolo, we are playing football. My broadcast overshadowed everything. So when, when you were saying uh, CR1, we silence CR1, we manage CR1. Who are you? When I was fighting PF, those guys, they were prepared to fight me. They had following. I mean, they were so organized. There were, there were too many pages, uncountable quality pages that would come, counter what I, I said. But I defeated them. Then who is UPN? I mean Kosway. Kosway is the one that will fight me, our watchdog. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I am the don of power. You are very lucky people, UPN. You are very, very lucky people. Because the opposition is useless. I've told them what to do. And they are shaking head like a, they are quaking head like if a catfish that came out from the river like this. <laughs> uh, maybe it's too big for them. But if if they if we conclude and they say see one, this is it, proceed, I swear. I mean, I spoke about just please one broadcast. See a one, see a one is finished. We have managed here, we have silenced here. One, one broadcast. How many times did the watchdog post about see a one? I did one, I, I kept quiet. How many times did the Kosuwe post about see a one? I, I kept quiet. I didn't even talk about a church. I still have that respect for him. 
I still has that respect for him. Someone said, you didn't see this coming, sir. All of us, we are too many. I'm not the only person that has been disappointed in this government. We are too many. The Catholics have been disappointed. I, in, in my next broadcast, I will show you my communications. The Catholics, they are disappointed. The, the chiefs in Zambia, there was a chief that uh, gave a statement. It's just that I have not started fighting. I have not uh, already started fighting. Sorry, uh, electricity has gone. And uh, many people will start saying, ah, so in Nigeria, electricity goes. Here we are enjoying 16, 16 hours electricity. <laughs> but I'm not saying that Nigeria is better than Zambia, no. Zambia is actually better than Nigeria in time of distance. But uh, in time of leadership, I mean, Zambia is far much better than Nigeria because what we have in Nigeria as our leaders are hardcore criminals. Zambia has criminals, but Nigeria will have hardcore criminals. <laughs> hardcore. You know, there is a difference between criminals and hardcore criminals. So, our own, we never repent. They are hardcore. They have already sold their life to the devil. So, what I'm trying to say is that there is low shade in Nigeria, of course. There is low shade everywhere, even even in USA. But we are enjoying 16 hours electricity here. Yeah? It's much better compared to before, you know. So, okay, what am I trying to say? So I didn't say more things about a church. This one, I didn't say anything about him. I didn't. The reason why opposition want to use brain also, <laughs> they, they want to use me, you know, they want to use me. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, but put hand on paper. Because I can't be used again. No one is going to use me again. I've shown my capacity several times. I mean, if someone, a person, a, pol a politician can sit down and gather 13,000 people. Not even my president in Nigeria can gather such number. 14,000 people are watching. Campaign has not even started. I have not even done anything. I've not even said anything. You can see what is going to happen when the campaign starts. So I did that live broadcast because they were saying, ah, see, one has been silenced. Please have it at the back of your mind that no one on earth can silence see one. No one, no government on earth can silence see one. That must be at the back of your mind. I am do. I am ahead in politics. I am ahead. I have gone far already. That is why when I go quiet now, like now, if I go quiet, I say I'm not going to talk about politics, you will see that there will be sanity. Everywhere will be quiet in Zambia. People can be stealing, people can be looting, people can be doing so many things in Zambia. No one will talk. But once I come live, there is a problem everywhere. So I hold... I hold that power. I hold that influence. And no one will change it. And no one. We are not even competing. Who am I going to compete with? We are going to send the Russian to silence you. I, maybe let them come. <laughs> I think maybe the Russians are the ones that can do it. Uh -huh. Maybe the Russians can manage. But no one else um, can silence you. One. So I am giving you facts. I, I am giving you, I didn't fight a church. And the reason why I didn't fight a church is because the opposition is not yet serious. We are not going to remove a church until we know the person that is taking over. And when you get into power, what is there for us? Politics is business. Politics is investment. While we bring in a good government, and the people are enjoying and the people are reaping the people that did the job must reap 
So that's where the problem is. You know, you must come. We agree. This is what is there for us when you win election. And then we'll start fighting. Because we can't just... I now, okay, I come. I tell the people to say, okay, this is what a church is doing. This is this. This is this. We finish all this and then we remove a church. We bring in another person. Maybe, for example, Fred Membe or Eddie Galungu or this person. Another person comes in. Then tomorrow they will say, ah, I don't know Siawan. I didn't speak with Siawan. <laughs> Why did we agree? Where did we sign? <laughs> eh? So many of you here today think that Tia One was not speaking to a church. When the when the time come, when the time come, when everything fails, and now we are ready to remove him, I will show you. You'll be seeing for yourself. I I, I haven't spoken anything about him. And everywhere, see a one, see a one, see a one, see a one, see a one. Everywhere, I don't know how many times they have talked about me. And I take my cup of coffee, and I'm sipping it, my Coca Cola, I'm, I'm laughing. The person that they say is finished became a topic the whole week. The whole week. That is powerful psychological game powerful psychological game and the UPND are dancing to the tone UPND the I feel sorry for HH because his people are down now look at this as I conclude look at this I come here in the, in the, here and I'm saying to you UPND gave a promise that Mili Mew is going to come down to 70 quarter per bag. I said it as here one. Now look at how UPND responds to me. They are responding to me, not the people. But I'm not going to vote. Mine is to campaign. Mine is to campaign. Mine is uh, to, to talk to the people. Instead of UPND talking to the people, they are talking to me. You can see how easy it is for us to remove these guys out of power. It's very easy. It's very, very, very easy. Now look at this. UP CR1 says, UPND, during UPND, fuel is expensive. UPND responding to me, there is protest in Nigeria. <laughs> You're not supposed to be addressing me. I am campaigning. You're supposed to be addressing the people. I'm not going to vote. I'm just an influencer that will influence the youth to rise up and make change. I can even influence the youth to protest. That, that is not even, it's not even, a, a, you can't even argue with that. Now, see one. Uh, 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 CR1 is talking UP, during UPND milli meal is expensive 300 per bag UPND responding to me CR1 you are not a Zambian <laughs> you see huh? there is no money circulating in the economy this is what I said UPND responding to me your president is too old <laughs> huh? <laughs> There is more corruption in UPND than PF. That's why we removed PF. UPND responding to me, see a one that is protest in your country. Now you can see how easy it is. These guys don't know politics. You can see how easy it is to remove them from power. Because I have taken over, I have taken the attention of the nation. Now, I am addressing the nation, speaking to the people. Instead of them addressing the nation, they are addressing me. <laughs> you can see they don't know politics that's why I feel sorry for HH HH don't know politics at all that's why he was in no position till thy kingdom come because he doesn't know your people when I come and distract the entire nation I tell them that UPND has failed we must remove HH 
instead of them going to the people to tell the people no we have not failed this is what we have done they respond to me instead of talking to the people they said to the they said to me see i want there is protest in zambia in nigeria now they are the ones that are sharing the clip of protests all over the country they are telling the youths to rise up and protest let me tell you this there is protest in nigeria because kenya started protesting nigeria copied from kenya if kenya did not start protesting nigeria wouldn't protest nigerian youth looked at the kenya and said if kenya can do it we can do it and now look at a, a a government that is in power they are the ones that are sharing the videos the videos of protests all over the country targeting me in all the in all the whatsapp group in all their blog they are posting there is protest in nigeria very soon the youth of zambia will say ah if nigeria can protest we can also protest you are the one that is advertising protests in your country thinking that you are doing cr1 you are doing yourself very soon protest is going to erupt by the way things are much better here things are much cheaper here than it is in zambia a little of fuel in nigeria now is at 22 kwacha how much is a little of fuel in zambia so youths are being oppressed i come here i speak instead of upnd to go to the people that i'm talking to and tell them to say everything is going to be fine the UPND come to me and the UPND start posting videos of protests trying to encourage the youth to protest if they start protesting don't say i am the one that asked them to protest so <laughs> don't mention my name there because protest is happening all over the world protest is happening all over the world Protest everywhere. The the president of the prime minister of Sri Lanka has been there for two decades in power, more than twenty years. She never believed on earth that one day her people will rise and protest. Kenya was one, Kenya was one of the most peaceful country on earth. They never experienced protest before. But the more you provoke the youths. The more you tell them that they are fools, the more you tell them that they, they, are, they are useless, the more you speak, the more you speak, the more you speak with your action, the more they tell you this woman is corrupt, remove her. This person is corrupt, remove her. The, the, this person is corrupt. The more, you, the more you play with their brain, one day they will rise. That's why I don't even want to go far because what is happening in Zambia is time bomb. It's time bomb. Any small thing like this, boom, you are going to see war. That's why I don't want. Oh, somebody said there is protest in UK right now. Yes, there is protest all over. I didn't even know that Nigeria can protect. You know, things are happening. There is division in Zambia right now. There is division between the Tongas and others. There is division between, between these people and these people. There is massive division that is going on. It's, it's a time bomb. That's why yesterday I was talking with some leaders. I said, what? UPN they don't need enemies. They don't need enemies. For HH, let me tell you this. Forget about these uh, people that you have surrounded yourself with that are telling you that everything is okay. They tell you to create enemies. They tell you, ah, we can do it without this person. Please, let me tell you this. There is a problem. There is a big problem. You yourself do a research and find out that the country is divided i mean just a small thing like this a small thing like this there will be problem someone said there is protest in angola the youths have waking up in malawi any moment from now there is going to be a huge protest massive protest protests that can even remove the sitting president in malawi any moments from now 
This is not what I want to happen to any leader. This is not what I want to happen to any person. But the more I am trying to educate the UPND people, I am trying to give you a chini ibeze. So I'm watching you from UK. Papa, pray for me, my Okay. I am trying to to educate you guys. I know you don't know politics. You, are, you do under five politics. <laughs> under five. <laughs> I I I don't have personal hatred on HH. That's why several times I want to mess him up. I. I want to mess him up. Why? Because I don't know the person who is going to be the next president may be worse than him. He may be jumping from frying pan to fire. That's why we need to sit, we talk. Then we tell you, this is what needs to be done. If you agree, not just for me, but for the people of Zambia, the, for the entire Africa, it, it, see, the resources that we have in Africa, is too much our political criminals in nigeria here they are looting the money and they are taking them to dubai they are taking them to china they are taking them to hong kong now the political criminals in zambia are looting the money they are taking them to china they are taking them to hong kong they are taking them here they are taking them here but listen to this what if we use that money to develop Africa? Every blessed day, every blessed day, Africa is moving billions upon billions of dollars out of Africa, stealing it and moving it outside the country. That money can develop us. If we have the money stolen from Nigeria, take to Zambia, Zambia would not need to go to IMF. If the money is stolen from Zambia is brought to Nigeria, Nigeria would not need the IMF. That's why anybody that is coming into power must come in agreement. This is what we need to do. We show you how to rule a nation. <laughs> not by IMF. IMF, World Bank, these guys do not mean anything for Africa. They don't mean anything good for us. They don't. They don't mean anything good for us. So we can actually, that money that is being looted, we can use it. We can use it to develop Africa. So anybody that will be president, before we go deeper in politics, we must agree. There must be an agreement. That's why I didn't go live last Sunday. We have not agreed. Maybe what I presented is too big. But it's not negotiable. If we cannot proceed with it, let the church continue ruling. I mean, I don't, I don't, I have nothing to lose. Whether it's church ruling, Edgar Lungu ruling, Fred Member ruling, I have nothing to lose. From HH government, I don't get anything. From Eddie Galungu, I don't get anything. From uh, Membe, I don't get anything. The only president that came into power and honored me was Mr. Michael Sata. Apart from him, the rest, not, nothing. So why must I bother myself to remove somebody and, and we bring somebody that is more worse, that we don't know, that we don't have an agreement with? So that's why I couldn't come live. The other life I came to, I mean, the, the last time I did a live broadcast, I was testing the microphone boop, 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 to see if I still have influence or not. 11,000 people watched. The previous Sunday, the last Sunday, 14,000 people, 14,000 people turned in to watch. Now, as we speak, just on my page alone, it has reached over 700,000 people that have watched that message. Tell me who in Zambia can pull those numbers. I've seen some useless names that people mention here. No, this person say I silence you. I mean, <laughs> have you seen a rat silencing a, a, a lion before? We are talking about numbers here. We are talking about if I don't talk, or for example, I say, okay, I'm quiet. I'm not doing politics. They won't talk. They won't have anything to say. You can okay, go to go and bring a broadcast and talk about yourself. No one will listen.
But once you mention, I want to talk about CR1, the entire nation will turn in because CR1 is power. CR1 is mighty. CR1 is the dawn of power. CR1 is everyone want to talk about him. That is what is called power. That is what is called influence. If you don't mention me, no one is going to watch you. If you don't, you can, you can, you can mention Edgar Lung, no one will watch you. Mention HH, no one will watch you. But mention CR1, the entire nation want to hear. What kind of man is this? <laughs> That's what is called power. That's what is called influence. <laughs> eh? So when I talk, I go and sit down. And then crayfish <laughs> and the rats, <laughs> cockroaches. See you one, 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 see you one. It's influence. It's influence. <laughs> it's influence. That is influence. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, 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 <laughs> I'm going to leave you now. Somebody has called me. I have a meeting. But before you go, know that I am the opposition in Zambia. I am the biggest voice. The biggest voice. The biggest voice in Zambia. No one on earth can have such influence. No one on earth can have such influence. As I conclude, there is a protest that is going on in Nigeria. I have already spoken to my church members. My church members are wise. Let me tell you something about brainwashing. In 20... Uh, in 2020, in 2020, 2021, we brainwashed the people of Zambia beyond repair. Beyond repair. And that is politics. Politics is about speaking to people and convince them. That is politics. It's just like Christianity. Do you know that Christianity is a brainwash idea? Christianity is a brainwashed idea whereby someone will come to you and tell you to say, okay, for you to, for you to go to heaven, you must change your name and bear another man's name, a white man's name for you to go to heaven. But you, if your brain is already brainwashed, you will not think about, ah, why, how come? If God wanted me to bear an English name, he would, have, he would have allowed me to be born in America. Why has God allowed me to be born in Africa? So white people came and brainwashed our grandfathers. White people came and brainwashed our fathers. That's where religion came. That's where religion, Muslim, that's where religion came, uh, Christian, that's where religion came, this and that. All these things, they are, are man-made, they were not made by God. And these are the work of brainwashing, ability to brainwash people. In, uh, please uh, tell me if you, are, if you are hearing me loud and clear, if you are hearing me loud and clear, I think we had a little bit network challenge. Uh, if you are hearing me loud and clear, is it loud and clear? <coughs> my first time watching you from Zambia, man of God, my favorite prophet. Bless you for your word and everything that you are doing in life. God bless you, purity, man. So, so please uh, go to the comment section and tell me if you are able to hear me. Is it okay? I want to conclude with just these few things that I want to say. Oh, trust. Trace Ford said, Jeremiah, God bless you. Thank you. He says, very clear. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Patricia, share the word of God. Perfect. That's what I want to do now. Now, look at this. In, uh, uh, I, when I was a baby, I think I was nine years old that time. And we went to school. When we got to school, we wrote an exam. And I came out number one. When I came out number one, I needed to go and tell my grandmother that I came out number one, but I cannot go to her empty-handed. 
I went, I bought uh, the portrait of Jesus, the, the, the picture of Jesus. Because my, my grandmother is a very religious human being. She loved Jesus so much. Anything, uh, anything that has to do with Jesus, she loved it so much. Yeah, this is much better. Thank you. Perfect. Yes. So my grandmother, anything, she's, she's a very religious person. Anything that has to do with Jesus, she loves it. So I went to where they are selling calendars. I bought her the portrait of Jesus. I took it to her. She was very happy. Oh, oh Andrew, my son, you have brought me the calendar of Jesus. She hung that calendar in her house. She never, she doesn't play with that calendar of Jesus in her house. You can remove anything from that house, but don't touch that calendar of Jesus. And that calendar was there. Last year, I went to see her. I bought her a lot of things, a goat, a cow, yam, rice, tea, so many things I took into her. When I gave her those things, she was very, very happy. I went into her room. I saw that picture, that a portrait for Jesus that I bought for her. I removed it from, from, her, from, her, uh, from her wall and tore it. She cried, she cried, she cried. Ah, she wants to kill herself. Ah, Andrew, what is happening? My son, my son will now go to hell. He will go to hell fire. Who has initiated my son? What? She cried like a baby. I told her to say, Mama, I bought you this picture out of ignorance. This is not Jesus. This calendar here is not Jesus. I say, you are a liar. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. She cried. <laughs> Up to today, she does not believe that that calendar that I removed from her, her wall was not Jesus. That was an actor, Mr. Powell. If you go to so many homes in Africa, you will see that picture, the picture of Jesus. And they believe that that is Jesus. And actually, so many people go to that picture and bow. Some pray from that picture every morning before they go anywhere. Why? Because of brainwash. Once you are brainwashed, it's difficult for you to be unbrainwashed. It happens in politics. It takes the person that brainwash you to come and don't brainwash you. The, the owner of those pictures, Mr. Powell, has come out to say, I am just an actor. I'm not Jesus. Remove my pictures from your home. Up to today, there are still millions of Christians that are keeping those pictures, especially from Catholic settings. They keep those pictures and they think that that is Jesus on their wall. The act of brainwashing. Africa has been brainwashed beyond repair. Africa is brainwashed beyond recognition. That is what happened in politics. Politics is a brain work. It's a brain work. Your brain must be sharp. This is why I am I am now taking you in the round like this. That's how we are, I'm using their brain to play snooker. <laughs> because when I talk I, like to, this is not politics I'm not talking politics today but from what happened the other Sunday when I say there is corruption in UPN UPN they must talk to the people I'm addressing millions of Zambians and those millions of Zambians want to hear is it corruption or there is no corruption UPN do, is, this is how they will reply to the people of Zambia thinking that they are replying to me there is protest in Nigeria what has the protest in Nigeria have to do with the promise that you made to the people of Zambia? The people of Zambia want you to address the promises that you made to them. Not protest in Zambia, in Nigeria. <laughs> so you can see that uh, it will be easy for, for me to undo and unbrainwash the, the people that I brainwashed. When I opened church in Imo State, 
people said no one is going to come to that church because what you preach is against what we know because i tell my members to say we are we are little i mean when people come today the following sunday they will not come because they were afraid what is this man talking about we are we started i think we are 60 i started preaching this message to them all they came for was to hear the word that will take them to heaven to them it was all about heaven not here on earth and i came i started on brainwashing them it's difficult to brainwash people it is difficult to brainwash people but consistently you will see that it's very easy to brainwash people now i am leading the single largest congregation in emo state single largest congregation in emo state they have accepted the message their eyes have opened you can never see any of my church member coming here to say he's praying on monday on tuesday on wednesday or thursday or friday or saturday except on sunday you can now see them going in the streets to hustle in the street you can see them going to they want to make mark here on earth they want to be successful here on earth they are not talking about heaven africa was so brainwashed that they must be poor because blessed are the poor in heart because heaven is theirs now the people that wrote this bible to us are not poor they are rich does it mean that they, they don't want heaven does it mean that they don't like heaven does it mean that they don't want to go to heaven why must the poor go to heaven the rich go to hell here on earth anywhere in the world the rich does not take back seat in the church including my own church the rich can never sit at the back no matter how today ah, the, the this police is a criminal oh, he's a thief oh, he has stolen all, all our money oh, he has let that politician walk into your church you will see that he will never sit behind even if he's a criminal he's a thief your pastor and the ashes will leave you behind and carry him and give him front seat why because the policeman is rich if you are poor you are the owner of back seat even if a satanist walk into a church today and give donation of one million i'm telling you the gospel truth the pastor himself will go and carry him from where he seated and bring him in front why do you think that our politicians go to church climb our our holy altar consecrated altar and use microphone to preach from our altar when people who are people who are innocent but poor cannot even come close to the altar heaven is not for the poor anyone that tells you that the poor will go to heaven has cheated you i've told my member when i came and started talking to them it was difficult i'm telling you it was difficult it was very difficult people were coming and going when they come they say ah this one is leading us to hell oh. he doesn't preach about heaven to him it's all about to work hard succeed here on earth succeed here on earth first heaven begins from here on earth once you succeed you have already achieved heaven i speak this to my members i don't gather them and create laziness among them no you can be here praying your reward is in heaven I mean you have no one has ever been to heaven and come back and tell us that there is heaven all these things are the things we read and you will be a fool that the person that wrote this bible and gave to you and tell you that blessed are the poor in heart for heaven is theirs it will be difficult for the rich to enter the kingdom that person that wrote this thing is extremely rich i told you before many of you don't read you don't make research 
the the largest producer of bible is zondervan publishers zondervan google it zondervan is one of the richest publishing companies here on earth but they are producing the bible that says blessed are the poor <laughs> here here africa here yeah, you don't have it. <laughs> Your brain has been removed. What is remaining there is so dust. <laughs> so what? So dust. Or well, that's what is there. That's why anything they tell you, you believe. That's why a man of God will come to you and tell you to say, in January, the, the toughest month on earth, all your salary, bring it to Jesus. You carry all your salary and give to the man of God in the name of first fruit. It's because your brain, you don't have brain. Your brain is rotten. Something has stolen your brain from you. That is the brainwashing that I'm talking about. I'm telling you, 90% of African religion, religious people, their brain, their brain is not working. They don't have brains. It also happened in politics. I mean, be be conscious of what you will achieve here on earth. You you were not created to come here and die and go to heaven. Every believer, their heart today is that ah, when I die, I will go to heaven. What happened between when you were born and when you die? All these years. You didn't achieve anything. You were in church praying day and night. The Bible said pray without season. But Jesus himself had a time when he prayed. And he had a time when he was doing work for his father. Every day. When I came to worry, I'm telling you people were poor. Church people. Poverty. <laughs> because they don't believe. They didn't believe that this world meant anything all their all their focus was in heaven all their focus was in heaven there is a mansion for you in heaven you don't have a mansion here on earth it's in heaven that you are going to have a mansion when will a crocodile when will a lizard on earth go to heaven and become a crocodile <laughs> here nothing your focus will never be heaven if heaven existed according to how it was described in the bible it's a place of rest it's a place of rest it's for people that worked hard here on earth people that did exploit here on earth people that achieved something here on earth how are you going to rest what are you resting from you came on earth you didn't achieve anything then you go and rest from what you rest from being poor and lazy no People that work, they're the people that rest. You didn't achieve anything here on earth. You want to go to heaven and rest. You will never enter there. <laughs> In your church, as a poor person, are you respected? You, you are watching me right now. In your church, as a poor person, are you respected? Do people respect you? In your community as a poor person, are you respected? Then who told you that you'll be respected in heaven? <laughs> yeah, brainwashing. I pray that you wake up. When I started it in Emo State, it was hard. There was resistance. I remember on radio those days, they were calling, they were saying, ah, this one is Satan, this one is demon. Today, they are here. I am leading the single largest congregation here because people's eyes have opened. People have waking up. People no longer want to go to heaven. They want to succeed here on earth first. It's not about going to heaven, going to heaven. They want to succeed first. The ebay that hand is better than thousand in the bush. The eight that you have seen, you are nobody, you have achieved nothing, and you want to go to heaven. As what? To do what? <laughs> anyway this is what i came to tell you today share this video share the video remember to follow the page like i told you uh, for the past one week since i did the live broadcast this page has grown you know <laughs> that's why i say um our people from UPND do not understand 
politics. They don't know how politics is done. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Now, the more people talk about me, this is the rich. Eh? 5.1 million rich. I'm not talking of it's people that are talking. Me, I just did my, my broadcast uh, last the other Sunday and kept quiet. This thing was at one million. It's at what it was at one million, but today the rich is at 5.1 million people. Now, how many people are in Zambia? How many voters does Zambia have? Hmm? If you come here. Now, look at this. Since that broadcast, since that broadcast, look at how many people that have followed me. <laughs> 71,000 new followers. 71,000 new followers. Why? Because everywhere, see a one, see a one. People who don't know, they come and go, go, and they follow. So if you have not followed this page, make sure that you are following this page. Things are coming. Things are coming. And for those of you that don't actually know, let me tell you now that I'm going to fight UPND for free. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it says receive only the sign. Anytime I talk, this is just from last month. Any Facebook pay me for talking, <laughs> so you can see when going into into battle with UPND, I am going into battle as a person that has nothing, absolutely nothing to lose. This is it. How many followers? Just because of amateur politics of UPND. See I want, 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 see I want. <laughs> eh? uh -huh. One point in the next, I think if they continue talking for a few days now, I'm going to hit 1.2 million. And this is a weapon. This is a time bomb. What you see here is a time bomb. Uh, if this thing will, will allow me, allow me to show you something here. Mm. It can allow me to show you something here. It's Now, look at this. These are my followers. Zambia is leading. <laughs> my following. Look at it. Eh? In Lusaka alone, Lusaka alone, 347,000 followers in Lusaka alone. See it. In Kitwe, 50,000 followers. Then you start talking about Lagos. Um, then you start talking about Lagos. And you talk about Ndola. <laughs> and this is how the page is growing. <laughs> eh? So, I am going into whatever we are going into. As a person that has nothing to lose, I mean, I'm going to lose nothing in this fight. But I want to say, may God bless you. I love you so much. And, you know, when you create UPND, you must sit down and learn politics. Please, this is not how we are going to do politics. Even me, when I fight, I want a strong contender. I want people that are strong, people that understand politics, so that we can fight properly. I don't want to fight amateur people, whereby 
I'm doing it's, it will be one sided fight. What the idea that you are using, you create fake account to talk to insult me. PF used it before, it didn't work for them. If you want to fight me, you must learn politics, you must be proactive, don't be reactive, don't allow me to strike first. Then you come and react. Then you are not a good politician. I'm fighting with the babies then. You know? It means I'm fighting I'm fighting with, with babies. I'm fighting with uh, with uh, amateurs, you know, which to me, even when I defeat you, if we go into this war, I won't even regard it because it's too it's too small, you know, it's too small for me. You know, when I when I come out, when politics begins, I come and say, I expose the crime, show you evidence. You must go to the people and explain to them, say, okay, this is not our president. Our president did not do this. This is just uh, Patrick doing things on his own. Uh -huh. This is just uh, uh, this person doing things on his own. Our president, not to come back and say, your, your president in Zambia is old. I mean, what kind of politics is this? <laughs> the country is fra fragile. The country is divided among tribes. And that's why, you know, the love I have for Zambia, I don't want to be part of what would, what would destroy it. I don't want to be part of what will disintegrate the, the, the country and mess it up. I don't want to be part of it. While I'm doing politics, I'm careful. I know that it's time bomb, like this time bomb. If you are doubting what I'm talking about, let the president send his officers. Let them go to Zesco and see what is going on there. See the tribalism that is going on there. Let them go to the police. Let them see how let them see what is going on there let them so these are the things that i don't even want to touch because this is a time bomb and i don't want to be part it's a country that i love my son is from zambia he's a tonga boy so i don't want to be part of what will destroy the country we, i must do politics uh, politics that we Matured politics, you know, I must do policies, matured politics. That's why I'm not protesting. In Nigeria, I'm not protesting. The reason why I'm not protesting is that Niger Igbo people, we, the Igbos, we have been subjected to absolute tribalism. You know, the, the tribalism that, that has been happening in Nigeria is unbelievable. The Igbos, us, you know we have we have seen it all in this country but something happened by the grace of god tinubu came into power since tinubu came into power the people the houses that believe that they were born to rule nigerians their powers are being stripped gradually gradually it's like power is being shared in nigeria now for the first time that's where you can the other day i went to exchange money at uh, money was not in our hands for you to buy dollar you must go through a malam for everything actually everything was in their hands the other day i went to change dollar i'm, I'm telling you it was a horror a horror scene now tunubu came into power and at least power is a little bit balancing, even if it has not balanced. But you can see that as an Igbo person, you can even drink and keep water. As an Igbo person, you can see an Aosa person doing something bad and you say, what you are doing is bad. As an Igbo person, at least now, you can see an Aosa person carrying cow moving around your house. You say, hey, carry that cow. They will, at least they will fear. Those days it was not like that. It was Sunubu that came into power. And this thing now things are beginning to normalize. The protest is starting from the north. It's the north that are saying we want Tunubu out. It's not us. 
in Imo state there was no protest Anambra state there was no protest Enugu state there was no protest Abia state there is no pro there was no protest because we have been they, I mean the, we, we have we are tired we have been tired of being mistreated the people that are protesting are the people that were enjoying Nigeria in fact I read on the news that they, they have brought um, a motion in the parliament that regional government must be introduced we are hearing this for the first time this is being heard for the first time in Nigeria because because of Tinubu so if Tinubu is going to allow regional government why am I why must I protest I'm not going to join the protest we are not going to join the protest because we suffered so much it's not the protest you are seeing in nigeria i've told my church members my church members they are they are aware of this you can't see any of them protesting i told them the 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 protest you are seeing in nigeria today, it's not for the good of nigerians it's not for the good of nigerians where have you seen protests is going on that people are waving russian flag in nigeria I know our some people. Our some man can never spend his one naira to go and buy flag. Who are the people buying and sponsoring the flag? That is why we are not going to support it. We are here, hoping and waiting that Tunubu's uh, administration is going to give us regional government. And it was already it, it was already in the parliament. I'm told that the, the paper has even left is in the in the table of Tunubu. So why wouldn't I support him? Since he came into power, the north, their power has been reduced. No one is born to rule Nigeria forever and ever. Awosa must rule, Igbo must rule, Yoruba must rule. If you say that power is you is absolute, you must take over you. It, we are not going to support it. I'm not a fool. I just I will not just go on the street and start there. The Tunibu must go. Tunibu, what did he do? Buhari destroyed Nigeria. Buhari messed up this country beyond repair. No one protested. The North did not protest. Hawasa did not protest. Now that Tunubu is there, uh, he has taken small power. <laughs> eh? He is trying to make things balance. You can even see ministers, Igbos. Eh? We are even breathing now. We, we can even tell our service, ah, don't take this cow here. Use this side. You want me to protest? I'm not joining the protest. I'm not a fool. I don't protest because I'm a fool. <laughs> I don't join the wind. <laughs> I am the donor power, the psychological power. <laughs> so we are not joining the protest. That's why we are not protesting. Igbo people have suffered in Nigeria and we have been crying no one was hearing us it is time for other people to cry also uh -huh. I mean we, we survive we are surviving we are doing well by the grace of God is on our side we didn't die all these years and we are not going to die I want to say may God bless you share the broadcast if you are watching this broadcast and you want me to do anything for you anything at all for you uh. You want me to do anything at all for you? You want money? Your marriage is not going well. You want visa? As a man of God, you don't have power. I told you I'm two years in Nigeria here. Here in Nigeria. Imo state, Imo state people don't like church. But in two years, we are leading the single largest congregation here. Church where you see barristers are working for God. 
senior police officers they are working for god successful businessmen and women of god top politicians they are working for god here in this church it's power it's not talk it's not by talk it is power it is power you need this type of power you're a man of god you have run church for many many years many years you are still at 200 member 150 member 100 member you are deceiving yourself you think that when you go to heaven you are, you are going to gather thousands <laughs> like you see our there is no church in heaven <laughs> if you don't gather thousands yeah forget it you will never gather and that gathering is not done just by preaching by praying and fasting no there is a secret to it you want crowd you want to prophesy even in your business you want crowd in your business you want to foresee the people that are buying something for you need power you want to be winning cases these are the things that i do i'm enjoying marriage because of you god bless you andrew walia so these are the things that i do send me a message now on whatsapp on plus two three four eight one four nine nine three nine four eight four send me a message right now i've pinned the number you when you join this broadcast you will see the first comment do you want to have a direct chat with Sia one kindly send me a message on whatsapp on this number send me a message now tell me i want crowd i want power i want money i want marriage i want visa anything you want i'm going to do it for you remember don't come to my inbox and start saying how are you are you fine i like you this and that i don't have time for those things i don't want anybody to like me I mean go straight to the point and tell me what you want me to do for you and i'm going to do it for you remember scammers are using my name to scam you they claim to be seer one every day people are crying every day people are complaining please this is the only number that i have plus two three four eight one four nine nine three nine four eight four this is the only number that i have apart from this number i don't have any other number they will call you on video they will play my video to you you will think that you are talking to me to me you are not talking to me those are scammers avoid scammers follow this page if you have not followed this page you are missing a lot war is on the way coming don't be left out don't allow people to tell you that see i want was life and this is what he said it's better you hear it with your own ears may god bless you i love you all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of Mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go